what's good my people my peeps so right here in this video there are a hundred of immigrants male Chinese immigrants coming to the United States yeah remember we had a discussion about sleeper sales mm -hmm. I told you about sleeper sales that were already here set up for maybe martial law now I'm not gonna speculate but I'll just let you look at this video and you tell me what do you think like I so I said to you guys in my last live um, you know we have police we have a military or the United States government our military yeah um, though they're not going to want to be kicking down doors when martial law comes into effect especially when they want to come take your um, possessions away uh, you know the ping ping pew pew if you know what I mean um, they're not going to want to really hurt their own citizens their family members right even if they're the gang stalkers and the um you know part of those alphabet crew a whole new world remember we talked about that okay you get it you get it now yeah a whole new world is coming about right so they're going to need new law enforcement to take effect and take control i'm just saying i don't know you check out this video and you let me know what you think about it. Um, be ready and be alert and much, much more. Video taken on the ground along Central America's Darien Gap shows hundreds of military aged Chinese men headed toward the U.S. Anthony Rubin owns muckraker.com, took that video and joins me now. Anthony, thanks for being here. Why are they coming? Are they Thank seeking this? No problem. Why are they coming? Are they seeking asylum or something potentially more nefarious? I mean, listen, I'm not here to speculate. I'm going to let your audience watch the video and you guys can come to your own conclusion. I don't really want to get into all that, but the video speaks for itself. I think I put up two of, uh, you know, showing the line of these military aged males that are lining up to get on these buses, buses to come up here. That's happening every day, multiple times a day down there. So again, I'm not going to speculate. Um, you know, if you have a more specific question, I, you know, we can get into that. It certainly doesn't look good. Uh, I'll tell you that much. Certainly doesn't look good. Just from a geography perspective, I'll press you on that. If they wanted to come to America, which is here, from China, which is here, why would they come through Latin America, which is all the way down there, and much more indirect? Uh, right. So, I mean, this would be for people who can't fly into the U.S. directly. So what they do is they get on a flight and they fly into some South American country. Uh, then from there, they would go to Colombia, they would go across the jungle, pop out in Panama, and then they would head up to the United States. But this is going to be for people that can't fly into the U.S. directly, because you're correct, it wouldn't make sense. You'd rather just fly into the U.S. and overstay your visa. Um, this is for people that don't have that access for whatever reason. Mm. From January to March, there were 2,200 Chinese migrants who crossed the Darien Gap in the same three-month span last year. Only 71 Chinese migrants were recorded crossing the gap.